talked about the sexual avoidance cycle, which starts when our sexual experiences don't live up to our expectations, when they somehow feel disappointing or risky or like a failure. And this all starts with that sense um, that something's wrong with what's happening in sex. And that is all about our expectations. We have so many expectations that are both unrealistic and unhelpful. And so really your expectations are the problem. Your idea that sex is supposed to go a certain way, you're supposed to look a certain way, you're supposed to do certain things, you know, your partner is supposed to do certain things. All those ideas that we have, how sex is supposed to go, set us up to then feel like we're a failure if it doesn't go like that. That is the problem not how sex goes or how our body functions or how our sexual desire works. That's all reality. That's all part of what we need to accommodate and adapt to potentially. You know, sometimes there's things we could do to change our sexual performance. Like there's, there's definitely room for improvement or, or um, modification on some of these things. Sometimes not, sometimes you're adapting to you know, a permanent change. But either way, your idea that something should be different than it is, it's what is where you're getting stuck. That's what's making you feel so bad about how sex is working. That is what leads people to start to avoid sex, which then increases the pressure you feel. So examining your expectations is really, really useful. You might think back to your family, what kind of messages did you get? You know, whether they were overtly spoken or just, you know, even if your family was silent about sex, you would have picked up some messages. What about your peers, your culture, your religion, you know, uh, media? Like, all you think about all the different places that you've been exposed to ideas about sex and how that has shaped what you think is supposed to happen. And then think about how much is that getting in your way? Um, or, or how much are you holding yourself to that kind of standard when you're sexual with your partner? So take the time to examine your expectations, really think about what those are. They can be hard to see because it's kind of like the water we swim in. You might have to really um, give it some thought, but see if you can figure out what expectations you have, where, where you believe something should be different, and that's setting you up to feel like you're less than. And then see if you can shift those, if you can let those go and just be okay with what is. I'm Jessa Zimmerman. I'm a couples counselor and a sex therapist in Seattle. Uh, this is my Just the Tip Tuesday. I broadcast live in my free Facebook group almost every Tuesday, unless I'm traveling, uh, at 8.30 in the morning, Seattle time. If you want to join me here, if you're just watching this on YouTube or something, you can join at sexwithoutstress.com slash community. See you next week.